This challenge is for anyone serious about making $10,000 by the end of this year. If you're watching this video in August, you're not too late, but you'll need to work fast. If it's already October when you're watching this or later, you're a little late to take full advantage, but do the challenge anyway. You'll be ahead of the game for next year. This is not a no work, make money the lazy way hack. It's going to take work and you'll be hella busy for the next few months, but you'll also actually make money to start the new year in a better financial position. Instead of being like most people starting out the new year making new year's resolutions about getting your finances together if you're instantly thinking i'm gonna try to sell you something then you are new to my channel and welcome my name is sean and my goal is to take you on my financial journey of making extra money and budgeting and saving money in this video i'm not going to sell you anything i'm going to give you the tools you need to make ten thousand dollars by the start of the new year by selling on etsy and i'm going to show you how to do it by spending the least amount possible if you already have a laptop you'll only spend about 20 bucks maybe or less to get your shop up and running and making sales. Now, of course, I can't guarantee you that you'll make $10,000, but if you try this challenge, put in the work and make $7,142.44, will you be mad? Again, I wanna stress this is not for anyone looking for an easy way to make money. I started my Etsy shop in 2020. I believe it was May of 2020. In Q4 of 2020, my revenue was $7,142.44. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no target audience. I was selling all types of stuff. I was just winging it. In 2021, my revenue was $22,563.05. And in 2022, I made $40,351.40. And my goal this year is to make $100,000 in Q4. Now, this is a stretch goal because it will be more than double what I made last year, but I really like to push myself. Okay, now I've done a lot more setup in this video than I normally do, but I think it was important. Now, let's get into the meat of this video. The business model that I'm going to describe in this video is selling on Etsy, but not by making any handmade products. Etsy is a marketplace for people who make handmade items, but this is not what we're going to do. Etsy allows you to sell print-on-demand items in their marketplace. If you're not familiar with print-on-demand, it's where you create the designs or the artwork that goes on a product and a print provider makes the products and ships them to your customer. And let me stop here and say, if you do make handmade items, that is amazing. And Etsy is the perfect place for you to sell those items. But this video is to help those who don't know what to sell and don't have the skill set or equipment to make things. If you do have a physical product that you want to sell on Etsy, the game plan that I'm going to go over in this video will still work. The only difference is your out-of-pocket costs will be different. By using print on demand, you almost eliminate your startup costs. The print company doesn't charge you until you get a sale. This means you don't need to put up any upfront money before you start selling. My print on demand company of choice is Printify. Printify is basically a marketplace of print providers. You choose the items you want to sell and then choose the print providers you want to make it. The Printify website helps you keep track of your orders with your print providers. Moving forward, I'll use Printify by name. Just remember that they're the company that will manage creating your items and sending them to your customers. Here's how print on demand works. You choose the print on demand product you wanna sell. This could be a t-shirt, a mug, a blanket or a Christmas ornament. There are a lot of products to choose from. You create a design to go on that item. You can do this using Canva, which is super easy to use. You don't have to be a graphic designer. You upload your design to Printify and create your product. Printify connects to your Etsy account and automatically creates your listings. You will have to tweak them a little in Etsy. Someone buys your product in Etsy. Etsy then sends you the money that they pay for the item. Etsy automatically routes your order to Printify. Printify charges you their price for the item and their print provider makes and ships out the item to your customer. You're left with the profit from the sale. Now let's talk about what you need to do to get started and actually make money in Q4 because there's more to it than just opening an Etsy shop and connecting it to Printify. That's the easy part. And be sure to stay until the end because I'll have some bonus tips that you don't wanna miss. Here are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a laptop or a computer to create your designs and manage your business. It is possible to do this with a tablet, 
but it's going to be much easier if you use a laptop or computer. If you don't have one, don't give up. See if you can find a friend that will let you use theirs, even if you have to go to their house a few hours every day to work on your design. Do anything you need to get your business up and running. If you work hard now, by the end of Q4, you should have enough money to buy your own laptop. This is just temporary. You'll need software to create your designs. I recommend using Canva. Canva does have a free version, but I recommend that you go with the pro version so you'll have all the features you need to create unique designs and export your designs with a transparent background. Canva Pro will cost you $12.99 per month, but if you use my affiliate link in the description, you'll get a free trial of Canva Pro. When you set up your Etsy shop, you'll need to connect a bank account. You can use your personal account, but but I don't recommend it. Etsy and Printify will have access to your account and you don't want to give them access to an account that you use to live. I use Relay. They offer online banking with no minimum balance requirements and no monthly fees. They are perfect for when you're just starting out because you won't start out losing money with bank fees. I am a Relay affiliate and they've given me a special affiliate link. Full disclosure, I do earn a small commission if you choose to sign up with Relay, but this doesn't cost you anything. This is how I keep my channel going without trying to sell you things. It's a win-win for both of us. You'll find my Relay link in the description and it's free to get your account set up. I also have a video that will walk you through the process so you will know exactly what you need. After you set up your account, add at least $20 to your account so you can pay your first month of your Canva Pro subscription and have a little bit left. Everbee is an Etsy analytics tool. We're going to use it to do our market research on Etsy. We want to make sure that we are choosing products that our target audience will buy on Etsy. Everbee has a free and a paid version. For now, we're just going to use the free version because we're spending as little money as possible to get started. You'll find my affiliate link for Everbee in the description. I'll earn a commission if you upgrade to a paid version in the future, but for now, just sign up for a free account. The first step in our game plan is very important. It's where you choose who you want to sell to. We're going to call this our target audience. This is so important because it's going to guide what print-on-demand products you sell and what designs you make for those products. What I don't want you to do is be like me when I started out and say, I want to sell t-shirts and my target audience is everybody. Then you just start making shirts randomly and hoping they will sell. I want you to actually pick a target customer and be specific because there's so many sellers on Etsy, the more specific or niche down you are, the better. For example, you don't want to say my target customer is moms because if you do a search on Etsy for mom shirts, you're going to get over a million results. But if you go down to a target customer of boy moms, your results will go down to about 100,000. But this is still too high. This is where Everbee is going to come in handy. Everbee will help you view stats on Etsy search results and help you choose your target audience. When you do your searches, Think of a group of people who would shop on Etsy and then do a search like they would. Look at the search results and see if people are buying in those areas. Keep searching until you find a niche that is not highly saturated. Also keep in mind that you don't have to sell one item to that target audience. For example, if you choose golfers as a target, you don't only have to sell golf t-shirts, you can sell golf related blankets, mugs, pillows, or notebooks, any item someone can give a golf lover as a gift. The next step is for you to actually open your Etsy shop. This step is super easy and I have a video you can follow that will walk you through the process. I do recommend that you get your business bank account or relay set up first because you're going to need that during the sign up process. I also have a video that goes over a few things that you should do before you open your Etsy shop. I mentioned a few of them in this video, but that video goes more in depth. The next thing you're going to do is sign up for your Printify account. This step is also super easy and you guessed it, I do have a video that will walk you through it. Once you create your Printify account, you can look around at the different products that you can create for your target audience. Think about products that they would need or find enjoyable if someone gave it to them as a gift. Keep in mind that we're targeting Q4, which is gift buying season.
Now this is where the real work begins. We're going to start creating listings in Etsy and I want you to start with a target goal of 100 listings. Yes, that's a lot of listings. But I chose such a high number for a few reasons. Number one, Etsy is a numbers game. The more listings you have, the better your chances of being seen in Etsy search results. You never know which listing is going to take off. The more listings you have, the better your chances of getting that bestseller. You are new to creating designs. Your first design will not be your best, but practice makes perfect. By the time you get to your 100 design, you will find your groove and your style, and you'll also get faster at making designs. Now this video is already getting pretty long. I'll link videos in the description that will help you learn how to create POD designs, automate creating designs in Printify, and push them to Etsy, and how to optimize your Etsy listings so you have a better chance at getting found in Etsy search. Keep in mind that I told you that this would not be easy. You've got more videos to watch to learn how to run an Etsy print on demand shop. But the cool part is it's all free. All you need is time and determination to do it. If you're still with me and motivated, enter I'm going to do it in the comments. And step five is you're going to market your Etsy shop like crazy. This is going to be the key to getting more sales. Etsy, like all of the search engines, has an algorithm. And you want to be found on the first page of search results when your target audience searches for your items. Showing up on the first page takes giving the algorithm the things it wants to see to indicate that people like your listings. It wants to see traffic coming to your listing, people clicking on your listing from the search results, people buying your items, and leaving five-star reviews after they buy it. You can optimize your listings so they're found organically in Etsy search, or you can help the process by bringing in your own traffic to Etsy. Social media will help you do this for free. Utilize platforms like Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. You don't have to do silly dances or even show your face. Just show your product. You have a specific target audience, so it will be easy for you to find your people. Be sure to think about your target audience when you're choosing your social media platforms that you want to market on. For example, if you're marketing to teens, then you might not want to choose Facebook because what I've heard is that Facebook is for old people. I guess I'm old because I do like Facebook. You've made it to the end of this video, so I know that you are serious. So here are a few bonus tips. When you're doing your research on Etsy to find products that Etsy buyers really like, search for best sellers. You can do this by searching for a keyword, then using the filter option and choosing star seller. Then you're gonna go to the URL in your browser and replace the word star with best. This will filter your search results with the best sellers for that keyword. Look around and notice what's selling and create similar products. But do not copy. You don't want to copy someone else's designs. You're just looking for inspiration. Etsy buyers love personalization. So consider offering personalized products to your customers. You'll find that really large Etsy sellers have moved away from making personalized products because the process to make them takes more time. This is an opening for you to break into the market. And then finally, make different variations of the same design. Change the color. Change the font. This will help you make your 100 designs faster and help you find what sells. Pinterest is one of the best options for advertising your products for free. Pinterest users are searching the platform with the intent to buy. So be sure to create a Pinterest account for your business. Are you still up for the challenge? I hope so. Let's keep going by watching this playlist I created just for this challenge. It has all of the videos that I've mentioned throughout this video so you'll have all the tools you need. Use the comments to chat with others who are up for the challenge as well. If you guys want to, we can even create a Facebook group for us to share ideas and for me to answer your questions. Just ask in the comments and it's done. Let's do this.